In the meantime now, as the issue awaits its day in court, Richland District 2 strongly encouraging students to wear masks, but it's not a requirement. Nigel Hood has parent reaction tonight. God has given us our children to watch over them, not for us to give them over to the government to tell them what they should do. And it's just hard to watch our country seem to go down a slippery slope of our freedoms slowly being eroded. Tonight, Richland District 2 parents expressed their opposition to schools enforcing a face mask policy. Having worked with children with speech and language differences, um, I know firsthand how important it is to have your facial cues, to have those speech cues, to be able to understand. If you walk into a bank, you're violating the state law if you wear a mask. We're violating the state law right here, people wearing masks. You cannot conceal your identity in this state. Richland District 2 will strongly encourage students to wear masks, but not require it in accordance with the state budget proviso. The district hopes the state Supreme Court will rule against the proviso next week. We are hopeful that the state Supreme Court will grant our request for declaration and injunction relief from proviso 1.108, enabling our district, to, our district to fulfill our most important obligation to our families, providing a safe and healthy learning environment for all students. For now, though, they are asking the community to do their part in getting the vaccine. While our school and district employees are doing all we can to implement important health and safety protocols, we need the community's help. If you are eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine but have not taken this important step, now is the time to roll up your sleeve and get the shot. In Columbia, Nija Hood, News 19, WLTX. Well, students with health conditions or religious exemptions won't be asked to wear a mask. Superintendent will review each situation on a case-by-case -case basis.